So, essential skill number three, what you need to be able to do is solve proportions. Oh my word, you were gonna do this a official word here, crap ton in geometry, crap ton. So, what do you do to solve a proportion? You cross multiply. So you cross multiply, you set each product, each thing that you cross multiply gets set equal to each other. And then you're left with an equation. And good thing we just repracticed those equations because then you gotta solve the equation. This is how you do it, how you do it. Now, this first little guy, he's a little baby problem. So let's check him out. Okay, what you do is you're cross multiplying this side and this side. So the bottom of one side times the top of the other, bottom of one side times the top of the other. So this becomes five times X is equal to 10 times four. It makes no difference which side you start with, bottom of one side or the top of one side going down. So five X is equal to 40. And then for star's sake, solve this baby. Divide both sides by five and you get X is equal to eight. Bam. And in Buzz, because you know I love helping you enter it in Buzz, you're just going to have a little box. All I can do is type in an eight. Easy, my peasy. Lemon squeezy. Okay. Hmm, what color? Okay, let's try this one. Okay, let's move my face. Okay. <laughs> now, bottom of one side. Oh, biscuit. Here we go. Bottom of one side, top of the other. Bottom of one side, top of the other. So, 2x gets multiplied by 10 and 8 gets multiplied by 5. So 2 and 10 make that 20x is equal to 40. And you just divide both sides by 20 because you're trying to get x alone and you get x equals 2. And then buzz, there's just a little box, type in the 2. This should be easy to solve and to type the answer in buzz. Okay, this is where these problems get just a smidgen, just a smidgen harder. So again, we're cross multiplying. And when we go to do this, this is the trickery. See how you've got that four and that X minus three? They have to get multiplied by the whole thing. So this is where you need to know, hey, when I write this out as eight times X is equal to four, I got to put that X minus three in parentheses because that four has to get multiplied by both of them. So I always tell people when you're, if we were together, I would say put parentheses around this. Whenever you have something that is more than one term, put parentheses around it <clears throat> to help you to remember you're going to have to distribute. Now I've got an equation. 8X is equal to 4X. Now don't forget to take this 4 to this negative three, right? So four X minus 12. People are good at the four X. Sometimes, sometimes not so good at the minus 12. All right, now home free here, baby. We got this. Move the four X over. Yeah, yeah. Four X is equal to negative 12. Divide both sides by four. Oh, my stars. Here she goes. And there's a little box. Type it into the freaking box. That's easy. Right. Okay. Just check my answer because what if I did all that and got it wrong? Okay. All right. Pretty good here. Let's see these purple. They're like Minnesota Viking scholars. Clearly not a Vikings fan. Let me I'll switch to black and we'll do Steelers scholars instead. Yeah, black and yellow, black and yellow. Okay. It's not about the Steelers, but it's okay. All right. So I have to distribute this. The hardest part is realizing this is three times the quantity X minus three is equal to, it's equal to two times the quantity X plus two. Okay, now solve this. Start by distributing three X minus nine, not three X minus three, is equal to two X plus four for reals. Reels. All you gotta do is get your X's all together. All together right now. Oh, me. Let's solve it. Now move the nine over. All right, I'm getting a little giddy here. A little crazy, a little gray gray. It's okay. It's the end of the year. Oh, I wish we were together so I could try new ways in person. X is 13. Type it in the box. Dang! That's it for cross multiplying. Get to work. I miss you.